Hey, Pastor Brett here. A couple days ago, I bought some new contact lenses. It's the first time in my life I've had contacts. Now I don't have to worry about making sure I have my glasses with me, particularly putting reading glasses all over the house and at work and in the car so that if I need to read anything, I've got a handy pair right there. Now I can actually hold print up and make it out. It's quite amazing. It's like I've got brand new eyes. I was thinking about that. and When a person becomes a Christian, they see things differently. As the Bible says, if anyone's in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things are gone. All things have become new. This morning, I had a hard time getting these contact lenses in. I'm not very good at it yet. And so I spent nearly 30 minutes getting both of these in. I got so frustrated. In fact, I, I finally gave up. My wife had to come in and, and help me get the, the left one in so that I could go to my appointment. Now the problem with this is I didn't have time to shave or take a shower. So I had to do something about this bed head hair and throw this cap on and just head on out the door, not worry about my unshaven face. And so I'm gonna have to make some adjustments in the coming mornings to this new lifestyle because of my new eyes. In the same way, when a person comes to faith in Jesus Christ, he opens their eyes to see things they've never seen before. And in order for them to put their eyes on each day, you see, even though you've been given new eyes in Christ, you still have the flesh and you have to battle the old patterns and habits and ways of looking at life, but now you have the ability to see things differently, but you have to put it on every morning by going into the Word and through prayer and submitting yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ for that day. That's, that's putting on your spiritual eyes. Much like Paul talked about in the subject of clothes. Put off the old self, put on the new self. It's like putting on a new set of clothes. Now that you're a believer, you've got to make adjustments. And so I want to challenge you, believer, especially for those of you who are, new, who are newer to the faith, make the adjustments necessary to go about your day with the new eyes that you've been given. Thank the Lord that He's given us new eyes in Christ. God bless you.